in the Power Tools, click Video Email. In this toolbar, click Video Theme Design. In this toolbar, click the New button. Then select Basic Layouts. Then click the next arrow. Okay, I'd like for you to look down at the lower left hand corner of this video and click the pause button. Go back to your Office VP account, open the Power Tools, click Video Email. In this toolbar, click Video Theme Design. Then click the New button. Then click Basic Layouts. Then click the next arrow and catch up to me. As we progress forward in this tutorial video, I'd like for you to pause this tutorial video as we go and follow along with me. And that way we can create your video email theme together. The first thing we want to do is name our video email theme. You can also organize your video email themes in categories and I'll show you what I mean. On the left hand side you'll see a list where we can create categories. You can store your video email theme designs in categories. So if you want to create a category, click the Add Theme Category link and create your category. Then move your mouse pointer to the next button and click it. Here you will find a selection of player designs, but for this example we'll use the default player and click Next. Okay, I want to first bring your attention to the three video sizes. On the right you'll see 320 by 240, then 426 by 240. See how the image size changed? So the 320 by 240 video requires a larger card image. The 426 by 240 requires a smaller card image. The 640 by 360 requires no card images at all. And the reason I'm showing you this is because this theme design is dynamic. It will handle any of the three sizes of videos that you upload or record. And if you don't want to use a card image, you can use text. Understand? But for this example, we're going to use card images. And remember, whatever changes you make here on this card image, you'll need to make on the 426 by 240 as well. And I'll show you how to do that. Now let's take a look at the image sizes. When you upload a header image, you can resize it to this 730 pixels. I recommend checking your header size. When you hover your mouse pointer over the header, you'll see the dimension. This one is 730 by 116. So the first thing we're going to do is upload our images, then we'll select the images. We'll go home. In the Power Tools, we'll select Image Gallery. Then we'll click the Upload Image button in the toolbar. These are the images I want to upload. We'll select them all drag and drop them in the drop zone. Now that we see the green dot beside the image name, we know our images are ready to upload. We'll click the Upload Image button. Okay, here's our images. Now let's go back to our theme design. The first thing we're going to do is replace our header image. We'll click Go to Theme Builder. We'll hover our mouse pointer over the image and we'll click the pencil then we'll double click on the header image. This will bring up the stock image gallery and show you all of the header images we have in the system for you. We have over 2,326 header images that you can select from here on the left hand side. And as you click the image it will show you the large preview. And if you don't want to use one of our images you can click on my library find the image you uploaded, then click the Customize button. And if your image is smaller than 730 pixels wide, you can drag this slider bar all the way over to 730 pixels here, then click Insert, and you're done. Then click Save. And if you want to hyperlink this image, you can. Click the pencil, select the image, then click the chain button in the toolbar and I want to caution you about this HTTP colon forward slash forward slash. When you send a video email we use tracking links that will help you know which link that someone clicked on when you send the video email. It is an absolute must that you include the HTTP colon forward slash or HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash for the system to be able to track your link. If you fail to include the HTTP colon forward slash forward slash the tracking link will break 
and whoever is clicking on your link will be unable to navigate to your URL. So just make sure you include the entire link, http colon forward slash forward slash, then your URL, then click OK. Then click the Save button in the toolbar. Now let's change the card image. We'll click the pencil. Let's double click the card image. And these are card images. And again, there's over 2,326 card images you can select from. But we're going to use the one we uploaded. Here's our card image. Let's click Customize. Okay, if the card image you uploaded is wider than 380 pixels wide, let's say it's 430 or it's very wide or maybe it's narrow, you're going to want to slide this slider bar all the way to 380 pixels. See? 380. Then click Insert. Because if it's wider than 380 pixels, it will increase the overall width of your video email theme and then your header will not be wide enough. And we can hyperlink this card image as well. We'll select the image, then click the chain in the toolbar, enter our URL, then click OK, then click Save. Now we need to change the card image on the 426 by 240. We'll click 426 by 240. We'll click the pencil, then double click the image. We'll select My Library. We'll select this card image, click Customize. And again, if your image is very large, or if it's smaller, you're going to want to pull the slider bar over to 270 to 274. Then we'll click Insert Image. Now let's hyperlink the image. We'll click OK. Then click the Save button in the toolbar. OK, now we're done. Now let's go over the bottom section. You can delete any of this bottom section that you wish by just clicking the red X. And if you accidentally delete a section and you want to reinsert it, you can move your mouse pointer to the left hand menu and insert a row. Let's insert a single column row. There it is. Now let's insert a two column row. Now if we wanted the two column row to be above the one column row, all we would need to do is simply left click and drag it above this single column and then drop it. Let's drag this one back up and drop it. Now let's delete this one. And if you want to edit the text, click the button, edit this text, insert any links or downloadable PDFs, and you're done. In this case, I want to insert my web calendar. We'll insert the web calendar. And you see how it's out of whack? We can right click on it and choose properties. We'll click the alignment, select the left side, then click OK. And now it's realigned. Now let's change the text. OK, there's our text. Let's change this text. OK, this is my text. We'll click the Save button. Now when someone gets my video email, they can set an appointment by accessing my web calendar. My web calendar allows me to take appointments over the internet and I'll show you where that is to set it up. On the home page, in the power tools, click web calendar. In the toolbar, click tutorial videos and click the web calendar. The tutorial videos will walk you through step by step in setting up your web calendar so that you can take appointments over the internet. Let's go back to Office VP. Okay, great. We've completed the setup of our first video email theme. We'll move our mouse pointer to the left menu and click Close. Let's click the Preview button in the toolbar. Across the top left, you'll see some links. This will show you what your video email theme will look like with the different sizes of videos. See? Okay, very good. Let's close it. Now we'll click Save and Close. Very good. Look below this video and click go to the next step and we'll walk you through step by step in uploading or recording your first video, then sending your first video email.